Hello, it's Sean. I'm starting a new project today. I'm going to be painting another set of the Walking Dead core box, the Walking Dead All Out War. Um, this time, though, I'm going to paint it in a monochrome black and white and grays. Uh, I kind of want it to uh, match the theme of the comic book. Um, this set is actually going to be for my sister for a birthday present. So if you see her, don't tell her about it. I'm just kidding, I won't post these till I actually give it to her. Um, but my plan is just to do a really pretty basic paint job with lots of uh, shades of gray on the models, and uh, uh, we'll see how it turns out. I've not done this before, but I've seen some people that have, and they look really kind of neat, so I'm going to give it a try uh, with the set of the game. So I have a pile of zombies here. They're all going to be done that way, and I'm also going to paint all the, the characters from the base game uh, in the same way. So, we'll see how, how it works, um, and you'll get to see uh, how my process for painting them as I progress through this video series. So, I'll probably do it in batches uh, for the zombies, probably half and half, so six of each. Um, uh, for So, two videos for the zombies. And then the characters I'll probably do all separately. So, uh, we're going to do a, a batch of the zombies first to get started, and we'll see how they turn out. Right. For this batch of zombies, I'm going to paint their flesh with spaceship exterior. I'm not sure I'm going to like the look of it, but that's the one I'm going to try. It's a, kind of a light gray. Uh, we'll see how it looks. Alright, next up I'm going to use neutral gray model color um, to paint some clothing on these folks. I'll do different pieces on different models just to give a little bit of variation here. So. Next up, I'm going to use Stonewall Gray from Game Color. Next up, I'm going to use Game Color Cold Gray. Next up, I'm going to use the Model Air Anthracite Gray. I'm going to use London Gray next. Just 
stone wall gray. Alright, well I've got this batch of six walkers painted in different shades of gray. And now I'm going to wash the models with Nuln Oil from Games Workshop. Um, this bottle is mislabeled. So I relabeled it. Um, I'm going to water down the Nuln Oil so that it's not a real heavy wash. I don't want these to be super dark, but I want them to have uh, some texture, some depth to them. So here we go. Last for this group of walkers is to paint their bases with matte black. I finished the batch of walkers. Uh, I was going to do a separate video for the second batch, but they're just so similar I didn't feel like I needed to do that. So uh, I didn't do any video for the second group. Uh, there'll be some pictures here afterwards. I'm pretty happy with how these turned out. I like the, uh, the look of them. They fit well with the comic book theme that I'm going for. Uh, just the big thing I'd tell somebody trying to do this as well is just as you're picking your grays, uh, try to paint the models so that the uh, grays next to each other are contrasting. So if you've got a shirt and a jacket, do the shirt a, uh, a light and then the jacket a dark color or vice versa. Same with jackets and pants and shoes, things like that. Just make sure the colors that you're putting next to each other aren't that similar in shades so that uh, they stand out and they don't just look like they're the same color. Um, if you like this video, you want to see more like it, uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or want to know how I did something in the video, uh, you can go ahead and put it in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching.